Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be filling out the notes page in my Erin Condren Life Planner and I'm going to be doing my budget like I usually do on here. But I'll be doing it a little differently. I'm going to be budgeting by paycheck instead of by month this time. So let's get started on that. I'm going to start out by just making it a little prettier. So I had these, I used one of these in my July budget. Um, it's from Caffeinated Kate on Etsy, uh, and I just had this one left over, so I'm going to put this one at the top. I'm still trying to use up some of my stickers. I was getting so many stickers in my sticker box, so I figured this month would be a good month to use this one. Don't be like that. And then I printed off a um, an October budget sticker. I can just put over this and that looks nice so I got a nice little header so to do the paycheck budget I'm gonna have two columns we have two paychecks in October so I went back here and checked my calendar and I have all the paychecks marked as the colored dots so in October we get paid on the 4th and the 18th and I already have a few of the bills paid for this month because usually, so usually what I do for my budget is I go from the first to the last day of the month, no matter what day of the week it is on or anything. But half the time, like the, like the mortgage for this was actually coming out of September's paycheck. Um, so it's not coming out of October's budget really. So I wanted to try it paycheck by paycheck because then it's more accurate on what's getting taken out of which paycheck. So we have the 4th and the 18th. I also have that written on my calendar. Um, so we're going to be kind of referencing this. So this is what we paid. It's a, it was, this isn't our actual amount, but that's what we actually, we, we put a little more towards principal. Um, so this, this last month, so we already paid that. And these are my stickers. You can find on Etsy these bill pay stickers. And we actually already paid the gas too. It came on the first. So these are some of the bills. The only other bill I think I'm going to add is some of our giving bills because I didn't put that on here. I want to print out some more labels for those because that would be nice to have on here. And then our credit cards I didn't put on here yet either. Let's get started putting this together. I'm going to use this Erin Condren sticker sheet that came in the back of this planner. And I think I'm going to use the green color and maybe the green and the blue. Yeah. So I'll start with this green and then I'll use this blue about halfway. Here's those and this is going to be paycheck one, paycheck two. So I'm going to write that. I think I'm going to write in black. I apologize for the shadows. It's getting really dark outside at night so I'm not doing all my videos during the day anymore. And so it's getting darker out when I'm doing them. It's not that late. All right, this is going to be paycheck one, and then this will be paycheck two. They're a little hard to read, but not too bad. So there's that. And then I think I might put the date of it next to it. Yeah, paycheck one. So paycheck one was on the fourth, I think. Yeah, the 4th and then the 18th. And now I'm going to just make a list of our bills that are due um, between October 4th and 17th and the 18th through the 31st, since the 1st is our next bill. So this month is, it's actually... We don't have a lot of bills between these two because we already paid, so we'll go through this now. So I have a list off to the side of all of our bills, and so we're going to skip the first, second, um, and third, so we're on to the fourth. But since we already paid this, this already came out of the past paycheck. So I'm not going to write the gas bill down either because that's not coming out of this payday. So just I'm only writing down the bills that are coming out of this payday. So we're going to have the phone, which actually goes on a credit card. So I'm not going to actually write that one either. We will have the internet. 
and the electric bill. And then we have some, um, we'll also have some credit cards due. So first of all, though, I'm going to write the internet and electricity. And we don't know what the electricity is going to be yet, but I do know that the internet's $54.99. We do have to pay for our American Express. That's going to be due, um, and I'm not sure how much that's going to be yet. And then we also have to pay for our Discover credit card. So this is kind of what I do for here. I put down anything. I don't put anything that's going to be charged to the credit card because it's obviously going to be taken out when we pay the credit card. So that's why this is just like this. And I'm not, I don't have the exact amounts for any of these. So that'll be once they're due, I'll know how much to put here and then we'll put that there and then, and then I'll have the total for all of this right here. All right. So that's actually all that's going to be on paycheck on the first paycheck. So I also, what we like doing, usually we would put some into the mortgage, but since we're refinancing, we're not really putting any more principal towards it right now until we get our new mortgage, but we are trying to save up, um, save an emergency fund. So anything left over here will probably go into the save, like our savings. And normally the first paycheck too would, we would give some money to my husband's parents in India, but we actually just opened an account in India and transferred some money over there. We're going to visit next, um, early next year. So what we did, we opened an account over there and then we can just use the debit card so we don't have to worry about trading money or anything when we get there and that part will be easier at least, hopefully. What we did, we already actually transferred money into that account to open it and we're just going to use some of that money from there, from the paycheck, to transfer to his parents' account. So, that's this. Now, paycheck number two and the second paycheck doesn't really have that much. So, we have for bills, I think we're going to have the water. All right, here we go. The water bill is it. So that's the only bill we're going to have for here. And we paid off our car, so we don't have to worry about a car anymore. I might put mortgage principal, just to remind myself. We might put zero there if we if we don't have the mortgage yet or if it's or if we don't want to put any in. We'll see. But then the rest of this is going to also go to savings. So this will be a really good month for savings. And just so happens since November, we don't have to pay the mortgage um, and we have an extra paycheck. That's going to be pretty good. But one of those is probably still going to go towards the mortgage to pay down because the good thing about the refinance is that we won't have to pay the mortgage in November, but our mortgage is actually going up because we're um, putting our closing costs into the mortgage, the new mortgage. So we're actually going to owe more than we do right now, but in the long run, it'll be better because we have quite a bit lower interest rate. Actually, we have one more here. We have our, we're getting, we're probably getting rid of this card, um, but we have one more card to pay. So we'll pay that one. That one's due at the end of the month. And that should be all our, all the credit cards and everything done. So that is, that's one thing I forgot. So this should really be everything for October. I'm gonna write, the water bill because we know that one. I have it written down 76.43. Okay, and the others we're gonna have to do as the month goes on. So that's a start. That's what I'm gonna use this page for. And I think next month I'm gonna try this too with a little bit of tweaks to it um, because this is kind of plain. And next month we're gonna have a few more bills because the first, since we're getting paid on the first, quite a bit's going to get taken out of that one. Um, all our bills that are like from the first to the third that we missed this month. So that's everything right here. I want to put the totals down here. So I'm just going to draw a line right now and then we'll just put the total here when we get it. And then I think I'll use one of these pink ones. The total income I'll put right here from both days. 
and I don't really need to put a total expense because it should. So what we're going to do is with the savings, we're just going to put any extra into savings. So it'll equal, we'll just make it equal to total income. So I'm just going to put our total income just so we have that because I like seeing that. I may, the only thing I may do differently next time is separate the savings because maybe I'll do like all the expenses again. So kind of like I did last month, I had all the expenses and then my, the like debt, the mortgage, I knew what the separate knew separately how much we had put to the mortgage um, principal and separately how much we threw into savings. So maybe we'll break this up next time, but I kind of wanted to just get all this out because this was in my head how I want to do it. This is how we're going to do it this month, and then November we're going to make it work even better for me. So, But I really like breaking up both of these paychecks. I think this is going to be better than doing it monthly. And I can always check it off when we pay it if I want to. But I think what I'm going to do, I really like seeing it in the monthly view. So I think I'm going to just print out some credit card bill due stickers. Um, and stick those in here for whenever the credit cards are due. When the, when the three of them are due. Um, so then I can check those off right in here. And then I don't even have to worry about the notes page. That'll just be like where I might keep my income and then I can see the expenses which was taken out of here and they wouldn't be all over the place. They're all in one place on the notes page. So that's what I'm going to do for now and in November I think it'll, I'll be able to make it work even better. So I know there's kind of a lot of space down here. I don't know what I'd be doing with this but for now this is my budget for October. That's all I have for this today. Be sure to stay tuned for November's budget and see how I do things differently, but still using this paycheck to paycheck method. And I'll see you all Friday with a new weekly plan with me video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.